Now that you've learned how to play up and down the scale, what's really important is to play very, very slowly. Play the notes one at a time, close the next hold very deliberately, and play very, very slow. The reason for that is that your fingering will be more precise and you will develop a better ear. You'll hear the note, see whether it sounds right or not. Okay, so throughout this, I'm going to be telling you over and over again, please play slow. The speed will come automatically. So just take your time and play slow up and down. Now, what I'm also going to recommend is while you're doing that is to keep your eyes closed. Because if you notice, when you're looking down, you can't see anything. So, but we tend to do it. It's just the nature of our body to want to see, to want to see what we're doing. Okay. When you close your eyes, you develop a better tactile sense of how the holds get closed. So you don't, it just, it's automatic. And you'll see the flute in your mind's eye, and you'll be able to close the holds much more accurately, much more quickly. The other thing that happens with your eyes closed is you have one sense shut off, which will heighten your sense of hearing. So you develop a better ear. So for the first year, when I first started to play, I just kept my eyes closed. It made a huge difference because later on, when I left my eyes open, I was able to see around me. I was able to enjoy the nature that I was in. I was able to enjoy the people that I was with. Because any habit you develop now, you'll stick, it'll stick with you. And it'll be very difficult to break later. So concentrate on developing good habits right now, and you won't have to deal with it later on. So play up and down the scale very slowly until you get bored. What I found is when we get bored with something, that means normally we got it. And we, 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 you know, we have it wired. So play up and down the scale until you get bored, and then stop and start a new technique. And then we're going to go through right now. As you go up and down the scale, I would like for you to vary the notes a little bit. Play some notes a little bit longer, some a little shorter. Play some in a sequence back and forth, so, and then go and just go ahead and vary every aspect of the up and playing up and down. And I'm going to give you an example of that. So what you did, you played up and down the scale. Some notes you played a little longer, some a little shorter, some you repeated, and some of the sequences you played back and forth. And you'll, as you do that, you're going to come across a sequence that goes, wow, I really like that. Okay, So play that sequence that you like over and over until you're bored with it. Go on to another sequence that you like. Play that one over and over again. Put the two together. Play those over and over again. And little by little, you start to develop your own song, your own style of play. So it's very important to practice developing the technique of sequencing, playing the note uh, in different styles, playing, playing up and down the scale, but varying everything a little bit. And you'll, you'll come up with a sequence that you really like. I'd like for you to go ahead and practice that. 